This video will provide a brief introduction to the Perusal system and how to set it up for use in our Moodle platform. Uh, I want to start by just showing how I've got it set up in my Search for Life in the Universe course. Uh, if we look down, I have um, a Perusal activity that is just the main link that students and I can use to access um, the library of resources that I'm developing for the course. If we go down further, we'll see that there are individual resource annotation assignments that I've set up. I'll talk about those uh, later. But first, just to show you what um, Perusal looks like. Uh, this is an external tool. If you click on it, it uh, should open up in a new window and will take you to the Perusal system, which was developed at Harvard. And um, will take you to your um, corresponding course on the Prusol system corresponding to what you've got in Moodle. And it will tell you that this course was started in Moodle. So there are a couple of um, things I want to highlight in the brief introduction here. Um, you set up a library of materials. So I've got my library organized as folders of materials corresponding to different units of the course. Um, in those folders, you can have obviously subfolders, but you can have um, you can have uh, PDFs that you've uploaded into the library. So here's uh, Astrobiology Primer. Here I've got a series of graphic novels that. Um, I had uh, downloaded from NASA. Uh, you can also point to web video. So here are different um, different videos um, from this astrobiology course at University of Edinburgh. Uh, and you can point to web pages. So here is a web page uh, from NASA, and if I um, open that up, you can see that what uh, Bruzal has done has um, basically taken a snapshot. And here you can see that um, I've actually set this up as, a, as an assignment. You can see my students are um, are uh, commenting all over the article. Uh, so just back to um, the course home, set up the library, and then um, once you've got resources in, you can set up assignments. Um, I've got a couple of assignments set up. One is for my students to uh, comment on uh, this web article um, on Life Here and Beyond uh, uh, from the NASA website. If I just click on um, the edit button here, you'll see what uh, is uh, available for setting up the assignment. First, you pick what assignment you are building the um, assignment around uh, with some uh, pieces of content. You have the ability to select individual pages or chapters or whatever. You can specify when this uh, should be submitted. Uh, give instructions for your students. And then um, you can uh, specify how many annotations you expect each student to put onto the article, when they can start, and so forth. Um, so, library of resources, assignments that you build uh, for those resources around um, around those library uh, items. Um, just to show you how this works, I'll go into my sandbox course, turn editing on. Now, I already have um, a perusal connection here, but I'll set up another one. You really only need one main connection because this duplicate one will do just the same thing. If I click Add an Activity or Resource, come down here and select the perusal social annotation um, activity. Click Add. 
give it a name like our uh, resource library whatever you want to call it for this main one I would recommend that you uncheck the accept grades from tool option because you're not you don't really care about grading whether they go to the library or not you want to grade individual assignments you set up and then uh, click save and return to course and then the first time you click on that link um, peruse all will if it hasn't already and it won't if it's the first time you've added this will uh, create a course space which will be empty I should have picked a, a new sandbox that didn't have anything in it but anyway um, I won't go through all of the different settings uh, because that would make the video too long but you do want to take a look through some of these but from the course home you would have as the instructor uh, some getting started help materials you would have your library where you could add content and this uh, shows the different kinds of content you can create a folder you can actually have your students buy a commercial textbook through your perusal library and there that way you can actually create annotation assignments around the text you can take a snapshot of a web page you can upload documents like PDFs or EPUBs or Word documents and um, more recently you can um, put in links to YouTube, Vimeo, other video locations and set up a video player with the ability to comment. So if I just wanted to quick add a um, uh, a document from my computer I could um, select this PDF and upload it and um, the documents tend to all upload at the bottom of the library here but then you can drag and drop them into the different folders um, so while that's working um, let's go over and set up an assignment I can add a new assignment and uh, just select the content uh, maybe this article how long was Venus habitable this is a relatively short article as I recall so I don't think I'm going to have the ability well I actually I could assign specific pages so maybe I just want um, students to concentrate their annotations on page one through three uh, next step would be to um, specify when the assignment is due provide any specialized instructions and then the following step is um, you will set in your course settings how many annotations you expect students on average to you know add to a given assignment you can change that here you can assign this to specific students you can determine when students can start working on it and so forth click save changes you basically will see um, the ability to go back and edit the assignment you can extend the deadline for a specific student you can delete the assignment you get different kinds of analytics or confusion report you can go directly to the comments that students have put on um, perusal will keep track of you know how many students haven't submitted any work how many have submitted some work how many have completed and so forth uh, what's useful though is this copy full title for the LMS so if you do that um, whatever this official title was on the assignment will be copied over to the clipboard and therefore when you go to add another perusal assignment if you paste in what was copied to the clipboard um, as the title for that assignment this case you do want to accept grades from the tool because uh, this this is a graded assignment in Prusol and this will ship the grades from Prusol back to Moodle you can specify you know I want this to be a, a five point assignment in Moodle whatever percentage the students get 
on the activity in Perusal will be applied to that five points. You can, you know, put it into a category wherever you need it to be. Click Save and Return to Course. And then now when you or when your students click on this link, uh, it won't just go to the general resource library. This is a way to direct students. Here's where I want you to go to do your commenting. And so the students would, um, you know, follow your uh, directions and they can select text if it's a text-based article and just start adding comments. These comments can be all sorts of, you know, they can include all sorts of formatting, but you can also uh, link to a website if, if this, if, if this comment student, the student comment is that, oh, I think, um, it would be useful to look at this other material over here, um, maybe a you know, Wikipedia article or whatever. They could link to it. They could um, add images um, and so forth. So you get a lot more um, multimedia rich commenting function than just scribbling some notes on the side of, uh, of the article. So um, I think that's probably enough for a get started. The main things are to add a um, an overall link to your Perusal resource library. That should be your first step. When you as the instructor click on it, it's going to create your course space in the Perusal system. Um, you will be taken through a series of steps to get things set up. Then you can start adding and organizing materials that you want your students to collaboratively annotate. And then you create assignments around those. And if I just look here um, to open this assignment, I can see uh, let me close this down. I can look at all of the comments or I can look at the comments from a specific student. Um, I've actually set up um, persistent groups of students in Perusal to match my groups in uh, Moodle. So I could look at the comments from a specific groups. I can look just at places where um, students have asked questions in their comments or those that haven't received an answer from uh, other um, member of the class and so forth. Um, and so if I look at uh, you know, all of the, the, the comments, you can just see that there's a, a bunch of them because I've got 60 some students in my course. But again, I can use this to narrow it down. If instead I look at student comments on this video, you can see that the comments are all attached to specific points in the timeline for the video. And so here's a comment by one of my students at this point. Here's a comment by a different student. Um, so yeah, that um, pretty much covers the getting started with Perusal. I think it'll be a useful tool for uh, many of us to support close reading of articles, our students collaborating on uh, understanding the, the readings and other materials for the course. And also as instructors, this gives us a way to, um, to look into uh, the study process of our students rather than you know, students just reading this article uh, alone in their dorm room and, and not having any idea of what points they're, they're, fe they're focusing in on.